If you love Buckeyes or chocolate covered peanut butter balls, you will love these brownies because it has them on the top. Here we go. Hello everyone. To make this recipe, you will need a brownie base. Now you can use any boxed brownie mix or you can make your own from scratch recipe. The one I'm using on your screen right now is actually the same recipe that I use for my brownie kiss cupcakes that I posted about a week or so ago. So I will provide a link in the about section below this video if you want to go check that out. So basically you're going to cream together some sugar, some butter, some vanilla and a couple of eggs and beat that together until it's light and fluffy. And you will notice my brand new KitchenAid mixer that I received as a gift from Santa in 2013. Now the dry ingredients are flour, baking powder, salt, and some baking cocoa that's unsweetened. You stir the dry ingredients together until there's no more lumps and it looks nicely combined. And then you're gonna pour that in all at once into the wet ingredients. Now, I know I'm not going to specifics about the amount of ingredients, but that will all be in the about section below this video. So go check that out. Blend that until it's just combined. And then you're going to put it into a greased 8 by 8 inch or 8 by 10 inch baking dish. Bake it at 350 degrees, 20 to 25 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean or just with a few moist crumbs. And then let that brownie cool completely. While you're waiting, you can make the topping for this, which is one half cup of butter that's been softened and blend it up so it's fluffy. And then add two thirds of a cup of creamy peanut butter. Beat those things together until it's very light colored and creamy. Then add one cup of powdered sugar, also called icing sugar. Blend that in and then add a second cup of icing sugar. Now, when you add the second cup and start to beat this, you may realize that it looks a little bit too dry that's okay. At this point, you can add one to two tablespoons of milk. I found one tablespoon was just fine. You're looking for a texture that's kind of like frosting. You want something thick, but you still want it to be spreadable because you're going to put this over top of your cooled brownies. Now, the other part of the topping is the chocolate layer. That's one and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm adding to that one and a half tablespoons of butter. I put in, that in the microwave for about a minute or so. Take it out, give it a stir, and if the chocolate chips aren't melted, put it back in for another 10 seconds at a time until the chocolate's nice and smooth. So now you're gonna put your toppings on your baked and cooled brownies, starting off with the peanut butter layer. Spread out that peanut butter mixture on the top using a spatula or a wooden spoon until it's nice and smooth and as even as you can get it. And then add the chocolate on the top of that. Then put this in the refrigerator for a couple of hours until the chocolates had the opportunity to firm up and then you can cut them into squares. Now something I forgot to do that I normally do with these kinds of squares is I usually line my baking dish with some aluminum foil and that way when I'm ready to cut them I lift them right out of the pan and they're so much easier to cut into squares that way. I was very happy with the way these brownies turned out. They are decadent and delicious. If you love peanut butter balls or Buckeyes and you love brownies, it's like the best of both worlds in one bite. Wonderful creamy peanut butter topping with the chocolate and a nice moist brownie. It's a delicious, very impressive looking dessert. Give them a try. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I want to tell you about someone very special. Her name is Beth. She lives in Hawaii and she has a great channel called Cooking and crafting. Now I subscribed to her of course and I've been friends with her for many years and just after making my brownie recipe I watched this video that she made and I realized hey you know what this creamy peanut butter fudge has almost exactly the same ingredients as the peanut butter layer on my brownies. So I asked if it was okay for me to use a clip from her video and a photo and what I'm going to do is after you watch my video, I'm going to send you over to watch hers because I think you're going to love this easy, creamy peanut butter fudge. So go ahead and click right on your screen to go over to Beth's channel and watch this great video or see the link in the about section below this video. It's YouTube's best for creative things. It's cooking and crafting.